Okay, once once you've created those custom configurations and you open up MicroStation and you see your configurations there, you can then choose to, you'll see a list of your workspaces and work sets there. If you go to create a new workspace and you select from the pull down, create workspace, you can then add in a name, a description, and you will see the folders below are already populated with that network location. And then you there you can set to go ahead and hit OK, and it creates your workspace in that configuration folder. And depending on which configuration you pick, that will change based on that configuration location. Same with then when you go to create a work set within that workspace, you can see that the um, network configuration is populated as well for that work set within that workspace. Here we have another demonstration uh, showing the creating workspaces and work sets. Here you see the custom configuration you chose during installation with multiple workspaces and work sets for new standards and old standards as desired by the client. Now here under the configuration folder under the workspaces you can have a variety of workspaces all created under here. And as you see in this folder here, there's the workspace folder and then a workspace config. In that workspace configuration is where you can point to um, uh, your resources, everything for that workspace. So if you want certain title blocks out in certain cell libraries, level, DGN libs, uh, anything for that workspace, then all the work sets will get that configuration you set up within this uh, config file here. If you so choose to do it then at a work set level, you can do that as well. Go under here to the appropriate work set. There's a work set config and set it up at a work set level. So in this example here, you see on the left-hand side under configuration, you have more than one configuration listed there. When you click on a particular configuration, it then brings up the workspaces within that configuration, the work sets within that workspace, and you can have multiple of each um, in, in any configuration and, and any workspace. Here now, using this um, new setup, the configurations, and, and doing this, we had a particular customer who wanted to do where they had a pen dot configuration and the wanted they wanted a pen dot workspace and a pen dot, and a Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission workspace and in the pen dot workspace they wanted a work set that had the new standards and a work set that had the old legacy standards and th that was easy enough to do in here they created a pen dot design, new design, and a pen dot legacy. And if you open up the drawing in the pen dot design one, gets all the new DGN libs, the new line styles, new fonts, new resources. If you open it up in the pen dot legacy, you get the old line styles, the old resource files, and and it worked just by switching from one workspace, one work set to another work set within that workspace, or they could change from the pen dot to the Turnpike Commission or within that one workspace. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.